Okay, Miss Walls, that Monday was rough. I know, it was pretty tough. Those kids were, uh, hmm, I think they need a snow day as much as we teachers need yeah, a snow day. Yeah, it calls for a special treat. Absolutely. I'm Thanks. glad I got a special treat in my cupboard just for you. Thanks. You're welcome. I think, I was looking at my lesson plans, and I think we're coming up on federalism soon. Oh, we are, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. And it's been a real long time since I've talked about that. Really? Yeah. Um, I literally can't even remember what federalism is. Oh. What is federalism? Come on. Let's, come here. I'll show Come to the board and I'll show you. Okay. Sounds like a plan. So, Miss Pack, I know you, you don't remember too much, so let me help you out here. So, we're talking about federalism. And it is a division of power between the national government and the state government. It's like a Venn diagram. Let me show you. All right, so here you have your Venn diagram. So you know that one has one, one has the other, and then in the middle, that's the things they share. Well, that works with federalism as well. This is the federal government or the national government. This is the state government or Virginia's government. Now, in the middle, this is both. This is what they both can do. They both share these. Now, there's special names for both. For federalism, for federal government, it is expressed. And for the state government, it's called reserved. And in the middle, it has a funny term. It's called concurrent, meaning that both happens at the same time. Now, an example, let me think, foreign policy. You wouldn't want the state government to be making treaties with foreign countries by itself. So the federal government takes care of that. Now, the state government, businesses. You know those, those rules and those licenses for all the businesses in Leesburg? Federal government doesn't have time for that. So they let the state take care of that. Both, what do they both need? They both need tax. They both need money. So they both have that right to tax its citizens, to get money, to uh, provide for both. Does that help? Yeah, it does, you know, help jog my memory a bit, but... You still kind of little? Yeah, in I don't know, man. Ah, I got an idea. Let's take a road trip because the federal government and the state government are here in Leesburg. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, let's go. Driving to go find where the federal government has power and where the state government has power. And I wonder if they overlap.
I was just here making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it reminded me of federalism, what we've been talking about with the peanut butter being like the express powers of the federal government and jelly being like the reserve powers of the state governments. And together you have the concurrent powers, what they both do. Tasty. She wants to try some concurrent powers. I think she liked it. Okay guys, as you can see, we were just driving around downtown Leesburg, seeing how express, reserved, and concurrent powers were being used and put into action in your city, just down the road from good old Smarts Mill Middle School. So, you know, if you're ever in downtown Leesburg, you know, you should walk around and, you know, say out loud to yourself and your friends. Be like, hey, that's express, that's reserved, that's concurrent. And you gotta stop at the stoplight because they'll enforce the lawbreakers. That's right, guys. Follow the law. Now you've gone on this little trip with us and you have seen some examples of expressed, reserved, and concurrent powers. So we expect you to know all of this stuff like that. Just kidding. So now we got a challenge for you. So over the next week, what we want you to do is go around Leesburg or whatever city that you're hanging around and take pictures of one example of each of these powers. So one example of express, one example of reserved, one example of concurrent. I know you all are on your phone all the time, snapping and Instagram, so this is one little thing that we're asking you to do. Show us how these powers are being used where you are. <laughs> Do it again.